We're here in the Church of St Agnes in Corston, uh, which is one of many churches in East Anglia and also elsewhere to, to have a lovely plan um, somewhere about the, the building. Um, there's a tradition of uh, recognising the agricultural year in the worship of the church, uh, most notably with things like Harvest Festival and Lammas Tide, which perhaps are more well known. But in these parts, there's also uh, a memory of something called Plough Sunday. And Plough Sunday is something that we are hoping to revive uh, on Sunday, Sunday the 8th. Uh, we're all going to meet up at Sigget, um, where the old Plough Inn used to be. And we're going to recreate an ancient tradition. And we're going to walk with some tractors and ploughs and some wise men as well into the village, singing Epiphany carols, and then we'll bless the plough when we get here. So the first thing is to say you're all welcome to that. Do come along and join the fun. Um, but I thought it might be interesting for us to have a little bit of a think about where Plough Sunday comes from, what it is, what it used to be. Um, and I'm very pleased to say that Naomi's come to join us uh, from the Historical Society in the village. Um, and I'm hoping you can tell me a little bit about <laughs> Plough Sunday and what, what its origins are, okay. what it used to be. Yeah. Well, mostly they talk about it beginning in the 15th century, mm -hmm. that's when most records start, but it also, um, there are some mentions in the 13th century where they used to actually have plough lights, mm -hmm. you know, as plough candles, and I think you've got uh, the remains, haven't you, of yeah. the candle holders yeah, here? Yeah, on the gallery, yeah. yeah in, on the plough route. That's right. Yeah. Um, and that marked the beginning of the ploughing season. Mm -hmm. We know now that uh, we have ploughing at all kinds of times of the year, but that's certainly after the kind of Christmas break. Mm -hmm. That's when people started ploughing. It was the first day back to work, wasn't yes. it? So I, yes. it's um, one of those curious calendar things because of how Epiphany sometimes falls. Um, the distance between Epiphany and Plough Monday could be quite nearly a week. Yeah. And so that would be an extra week in, in bed for the workers, essentially. <laughs> um, but if Plough Sunday was you know, right on the weekend, then yeah. uh, they were straight back to work. Yeah, yeah, as it will be this year. Yes, that's right. 2022, right. So here in Corston, mm. um, the Guild actually met at Ploughing at Sigurd. Sigurd to Sigurd. Sigurd to the locals, Southgate on the maps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and that's where the Guild met, and I think that's where the uh, plough Sunday and Monday started yeah. um, and the plough was brought from there mm -hmm. to here. We're not sure whether that was on the Sunday or the Monday, are we? No, because we don't really have any yeah. documentary evidence that we can yeah. find just yet. Yeah, Maybe sometimes, some more digging. Yeah, it would be really interesting mm. to do that actually. So sometimes it was on a Sunday and yeah. it was blessed and there was also a bit of a do mm -hmm. afterwards. Um, and sometimes it was blessed on a Sunday and then on the Monday um, was when they had a bit of a do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so what did that bit of a do look like? What kind of things did they do? Well, they one of the main purposes was to raise money. So the guild mm -hmm. wanted to raise money mainly for the poor of the parish. Yeah. Um, so they went through the village with the plough. There are some accounts where if people refused to give them any money, that they very kindly ploughed up their front, uh, their path or their bench. Can I, can I just say, we're not going to do that on Sunday. <laughs> Be at ease, people of Corston. <laughs> and there is a record, actually, of somebody in Derby who actually did um, sue oh, the wow. guilt because he um, refused to pay. Yeah. And there was about £20 worth of damage. Goodness. It doesn't say how successful he <laughs> was, but anyway, that's what he did. Mm. So, <clears throat> I think often the plough light was kept alight mm -hmm. um, all the time and that was until um, the reign of Henry VIII when he decided that he was not having plough candles in the church yeah. or plough lights as they were called then, so that mm -hmm. custom stopped. Later on, um, Edward VI said that he, he condemned the country of ploughs. <laughs> so, um, at that point, it quite often stopped completely, yeah. although there are, there are accounts of it being revived, largely dependent on who was on the throne. Mm. So, for Elizabeth I, it was revived, but for Mary, it obviously died a death. So, it's a tradition that's come in and out of favour yeah. over the years, yeah. and it's not been done here for many years, yeah. um, but we're going to give it a go and yeah. reinvent it in a different way um, this year. And it occurred to us that 
um, there's a, a coming together that's possible between the wise men of the Epiphany yeah. and the plough, and we can yeah. walk and drive tractors yes. and do all of that together. Yeah. We won't be taking this lovely plough. This <laughs> plough is, uh, it used to be um, at work in the fields around here and came from Church Farm um, just here. I'm not sure if it was the plough that would have been used in um, any of the Guild uh, mm. Plough Mondays or Sundays. Of course, in the church here, we also have the sign from the old plough inn because yeah. the plough inn was where the Guild used to meet and where the, um, the walk, the procession started on Plough Monday yes. or Plough Sunday. So, um, and that was actually gifted to the church, wasn't it, by yeah. Stuart and Patterson in 1950? Yeah, when the inn closed. When the inn closed, yeah. yeah. So mm. you've actually got quite a lot here, haven't you? Yeah. Um, Artifacts and things. And we're hoping that uh, in the coming years, as we develop uh, new facilities in the church, that the plan will be given more prominence, mm. and the inscription on the, the gallery might be uh, brought back to life, yeah. and we might be able to interpret the story of the plan mm. a bit more, yes. which would be great. Yes, because it would be quite interesting, wouldn't it, to look at some of the other traditions, mm. which were um, often they had a Bessie, who yeah. was somebody who was dressed up, who sort of danced through the village and. Um, and a whole group, I suppose, a bit like sort of Morris dances yep, of today. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so there was a bit of a fair going on, and lots of food mm. and drink was taken, I believe. So. I did read somewhere that uh, in one particular place, I can't remember where, um, there's a tra tradition of cross dressing on Plan Monday, mm. and everybody dresses as the, the other sex, and then they all have a strangely fun time. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure where Plan. Sunday will go here in Corston, mm. uh, but it's one of those things where yeah. we thought we'd revive it, mm. see what happens, yeah. and see if we can develop some new traditions. Mm. So maybe next year Morris dances, okay. who knows? Yeah. Who knows? And so, you know, we could perhaps look at doing something in the pub garden again. Yeah. We could perhaps persuade Paul to make the well known plough pudding. Plough pudding. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. And I think you've had one, haven't you? I have. Yes. I have. Um, if you go on, on uh, Google and search for a plough pudding, um, if you're a meat lover, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I, <clears throat> I have read that it's a kind of a suet crust. Yeah. And it's sausage meat and bacon and, bacon and, and onions. Strangely sugar and yeah. sage, as yeah. you say. And, uh, Making me hungry just thinking that. That sounds it. pretty good, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> so, um, there you go. That's what we know about Plough Sunday. There's much more, and hopefully over the next few years you'll see that interpretation start to appear in the church. Um, but why don't you come and join us uh, on Sunday the 8th, half past 10 in Sigurd. Um, wear your uh, outdoor clothing because we'll be walking from there into the village and we'll bless the plough and have some simple epiphany worship with some epiphany carols. See you there.